And here we are, and we are going to repeat ourselves ever so slightly. We have the uh, underdog here, Baba Ram, who's had a crazy run in this qualifier in the blue. Will he have what it takes to beat Hart, who has uh, come back from the game and has been so good over the last two years? Hart seems like the favorite here, Dave. We've got Slopes, which is an aggressive map, but Portuguese Malians, a fun matchup to start it off with. Yeah, I mean, usually we're seeing Hindustanis here. Maybe Magyar is being picked. Maybe Frank, something like that. A bit of a change in pace with the Portuguese, but you can understand why people would pick them here. I mean, you still have the berries. You can full wall. They save on gold units, so mm -hmm. that's really, really nice. And then on the other side, we have a little bit of more of an aggressive civilization in the Malians and a very flexible one for Baba Rum. Yeah. I think both civilizations flexible in their own ways. Both civilizations actually really good at something that's rare in a double gold comp in Castle Age. Usually it's too expensive mm -hmm. to go a combination of crossbows and knights, for example. But I think Portuguese can do it really well. Chinese can do it really well. And then maybe Malians as well. Oh, villager. <laughs> okay. It was, it was close. It was really close. The sheep, the sheep was griefing him a yeah. little bit for sure. But Babaram's going to get that boar in. He's going to be fine. And then on the other side, Hart just pushing in the deer from the other side. So something I'm realizing on this map, obviously there's lots of options, right? But I seem to remember Hidden Cup 4, and I know it's been a while. Players on this map would usually always expand to the sides, right? Like the second and third TC would be on the sides. They'd build their castles there. They would fight with army in the middle, but we wouldn't really see big pushes through the middle. And I think... For some players, that focus has shifted. And Babaram mm -hmm. is one of them. Uh, he played multiple games on this where he would go heavy army and forward castle through the middle. So that is definitely one thing with Baba to look out for here. And with all the stones and golds being there, I think he feels like that is actually more important than expanding. I think that perspective started to change relatively early in the qualifiers. I, I can't remember if it was Vivi or Lix. I think it might have been Lix who went cumins and then would just boomed in the middle. Yep. Like it took him so long to go to the outside. And I thought he kept would have got punished for it earlier, but he was perfectly fine. He ended up losing the game, but it was less because of the boom in the middle, more because of other factors. So really showing us that you don't need to uh, extend yourself super early. You can just hang out behind your walls, be perfectly safe and then build up into Imperial Age. I've spoken to a lot of players over the years about different circumstances. And one thing that I'm more certain on than ever now is in a situation like this, where the stakes are so high, if you are the favorite that we see Hart is here, that is where the pressure is, right? Mm -hmm. You feel more pressure than if you're up, a player, uh, up against a player who's better than you. I, I don't know why that is. I think in some ways it makes sense, other ways it doesn't. But um, the pressure is on for Hart here because on paper... You know, with, with his ladder ranking, he is the better player. With the recent tournament results, he is the better player. Baba Ram does not play this game as much as the majority of the people who played in this qualifier. He takes very large breaks. So uh, I think on the other side, that could maybe give Baba Ram some confidence here. But really curious to see if there's any shakiness from Hart here or if he's just super smooth from the get-go. I think he's just going to be smooth, man. I, I, I don't know if Hart's going to be feeling that you know, favorite pressure. Mm -hmm. I think he's gotten the results that he he's needed to get in previous tournaments leading up to this to really justify his position, maybe near the top 10. I know our top 10 is ever expanding. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> like, yep. But um, <clears throat> he was at NAC. He's had good results before that. He's had some pretty good results in this qualifier before the matchup against Tato, of course. But he had to know that Tata was the heavy favorite Yes, in that matchup. So it's not like, you know, the worst loss in the world. He should be feeling pretty good I here agree. as he tries to lame the sheep. Baba Rum, but Hart manages to push him away. So already, this is something, if you ever watch Hart play Arabia, this is what he does. He'll push in all the deer, right? He doesn't want to take any risk long term, so he just pushed in all the deer. Game one, very greedy, hasn't scouted, and Baba Rum... He did this in prior games. He loves to go for the early two militia play. So in some ways, like this could be a way that Baba Ram could find some some avenues for damage today. I think that Hart, with that confidence, will maybe be greedy like this. Because when you're so fast, you could just adapt with a quick wall or something, mm -hmm. right? 
in theory. Especially when you're training with someone like Hera, whose entire approach nowadays seems to be just adapt. Yes, right? exactly. You go for a, a pretty nice build, you get your eco rolling, and then you, you have enough skill and you recognize that you have enough skill yep. to just kind of roll with the punches. And Hart is uh, stylistically quite similar to someone like Hera, so he Agreed. might be uh, going for that same approach. Nice engagement here from Bobber Rum. Trying to get those militia to attack the scout. He's actually added a third one. He's going men at arms. Yeah, men at arms. Win or lose, I really like already what Baba Rum has done because this is a lot more aggression than, than even he did. Usually it's just the two militia play. He's really trying to make heart work for it here. Game number one. These are Mali and men at arms. It will be harder to kill against archers, but you see the confidence from Hart? He's like, I can get some spears. I can fight it off with Vils, a quick wall. Like, already making this look very easy, but you you don't want to let that uh, worry you too much if you're Baba. At the end of the day, Ooh. you have control over the game right now. Yeah, really brutal taking the hits, though, from that town center. Now the one is at half HP. Trap. Hart will now go for an archer range. At least if you see that archer range there from Baba Rum, I don't think Hart can get away with the trap right now. You know that you forced it into a pretty bad position. So you already know mm -hmm. that yeah. Hart isn't quite playing up to his game plan. Maybe you can take advantage of the aggression. And now Hart is going to use those scouts to either take a good fight here against the men-at-arms or go look for the reinforcements that he knows are on the way from Baba Rum. And Baba Rum is going to wait for a spearman for that archer. Really That's nice stuff there from really him. really good. It's sometimes very tricky to get the resources for the double bit axe. Ooh. And also get the archer timing down. If you're Baba here and Baba didn't expect no. the archer to get sniped and a heart sniped it, that's huge. Oh boy, he didn't patrol across because he didn't want them getting distracted by the scouts. He didn't think that heart would dive in there yeah. with a spearman nearby, especially with weak scouts from before. But I mean, he did. And now the archer's been cleared up and suddenly you're not really going to have any range units at all to follow this yeah. up. And you have to be worried about scouts at your own base was very gutsy from Hart to do that. Again, I think that shows the confidence that he has. And a uh, Baba Rum, that was a reminder of how fast Hart is with his micro. But again, it's mm -hmm. like Hart has to have perfect micro or this could still be a big problem. These are Mali and Man-at-Arms. He added spears and skirms against Man-at-Arms. He's not going to kill them quickly. And as long as Baba Rum doesn't get into that TC fire, he could still stick around here for a while longer. And he is untouched at home at the moment. Yeah, really solid stuff. Hart takes out the scout. Could be problematic with all these skirms on the field. Spearman still getting value for Hart, just being a body in yep. front. And that villager can't be taken out by Baba Rum. His men-at-arms are going to go down. His archer's going to go down. And Hart just made this look so easy, man. He made this look so easy when it's really not. Yeah, and that's, that's what Hart is expected to do today. Behind this, you feel the need to maybe even add scouts right now if you're Baba Rum to try and push back the skirmishers. Little bit of TC idle time from both. Resources collected, though, looking better for Hart. And so, yeah, he was happy to push in the deer. He, he was maybe surprised in some ways, but he and, like, Hera and, like, some of these guys, they just think that Man-at-Arms is dead now because mm -hmm. they can do that, <laughs> right? Like, Man-at-Arms is far from dead for 99.9% .9 of players. Even a lot of players in the top 100 still can do Man-at-Arms to get away with it, but... Yeah. You can micro like that, dude. I mean, the best fundamental strategies in Age of Empires 2 or builds are the ones that can enable you to make a lot of mistakes and still be fine. Mm -hmm. But the, the best and most optimal strategies, which is what we're seeing now, is supplies. Supplies? Comes in for Bob that's, that's very interesting. The optimal <laughs> ones are the ones where you make few mistakes mm -hmm. because you're just that good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. And that's that's the opening here for Hart. Really, really solid job. Supplies is so interesting. So he, I think Baba thinks I'm dead. <laughs> my archers won't do anything. I'm Malians. My man at arms have extra pierce armor. Hart is possibly gonna just meta me if I don't do something crazy. And he's gonna add more men at arms. I wouldn't hate like three or four more additional and then just stopping. <laughs> It could be this really is so bad, though, because the army is just going to show up at your gold. Yeah, true. He's not walled. And, dude, I feel like there's some sort of, like, 
Western music as, or something as Bob Rum just advances forward with this army. <laughs> like, da, 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 da. like he's coming forward, but look at all this stuff at the back. Villagers are all gonna die. Oh, it's brutal. I mean, it's he so does. Brutal. He only loses two, which I think is is impressive so far. He did have to fight it off with Vils, which is easier said than done. If he can get into Heart's base, maybe there's a chance. But Heart, of course, is walled now. And so it doesn't feel like there is going to be a chance. And, oh, man, Heart is just showing some patience. Now Heart will see Man-at-Arms and say, oh, okay, so he's not up to Castle Age anytime soon. And I've killed some villagers. And I'm walled. And, well, actually, that villager just passing there from Heart. She gets Heart, away. She actually gets away. Heart was checking to see if he was walled by clicking outside the walls. But, yeah, this is just a disaster for Baba Rum. He needed defense. Absolute disaster. He's he's... I tried to find some positives for the poor guy, but he's just getting slaughtered here. Apparently, I was humming the A tier A team theme, but this <laughs> army is definitely a B team. <laughs> 100% can't well, maybe, even get through that. Maybe a C. Dude, it might even be a C team. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that was desperation plays from Bob Rum, and yeah. that's all because the initial push didn't work because Hart defended so beautifully. Agreed. So yeah, Hart definitely opened that opportunity for him, and like you said, Bob Rum. Looked at the skirms, looked at the scouts, and said, I don't have an option. Yep. So I'm going to try men-at-arms. Didn't work. So here's the positives for Babo. Hart's weakest maps, probably maps that incorporate some water, maps that incorporate early wall potential, right? Quarry is a map that you could play. Gold Rush is a map that you can play. Islands is a map you can play. Baba Ram's the underdog. If he's going to win this series, he was never going to win this series 4-0. He's going to lose these types of games, most likely. So uh, there is that. But yeah, he tried something different. 18 minutes, though, does boost your confidence a bit here for your heart. Because you're just like, oh my god, I just clapped this guy. <laughs> here we are, game two. By the way, I determined that the issue with our sinking at times is actually a capture age bug on my end. So it was not me being an Is idiot. there an issue with sinking? Uh, well, when we start. Oh, okay. When we well, when we start, matter. my countdown problems is actually I was clicking play, but there's two play buttons, and if I click one of them, it rewinds sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, um, wow, interesting choices here, uh, and also very interesting layout for game number two. Scouting is going to be needed. Baba Rum over here towards the the north, but very much northeast, and Hart down there towards the south. They are very close together here. We've got Khmer for Hart, for Gundians for Baba Rum. And with what I've seen from the Burgundians so far, I think they're one of the best civs on this map. This is precisely what Baba needs. I think Hart's got a really solid base, man. He's in the corner, which is always beautiful on Gold Rush. Yep. You can just easily wall off two sides, right? And the other two are protected by the edge of the world. So yep. really, really solid stuff. Good map generation, though, for Baba Rum at the same time. That gold is a little bit outside to the left, but mm -hmm. the other one is safe. And that's all you need. You just need the four tiles to get your eco rolling, and then you can slowly expand. Another positive for Baba here is the gold in the middle is much closer to him. Mm -hmm. Now, that could also be a negative if he's being pushed. Like, if he was against MBL, he would not want this hill next to him because MBL would be on it, making siege or something. But against Hart, Hart's probably going to play that econ economic play and expand. It is definitely a further trip for Hart to get to the middle gold. But I'm thinking scouts could be an option for both. More often than not, we've seen walls. I wouldn't mind a fast feudal here with the Khmer. You're unlikely to need spearmen by dropping your own barracks, so I could see just a stable working. But yeah, more and more, I think people have stopped going for feudal age here. They're just like, it's not worth it. I'm just going to go Doesn't fast do castle. Anything. Yeah. Remember Max with Khmer on this map? Sneakville, dude. The random. The do you remember the ran the most random stable I've ever seen in my yeah. entire life? <laughs> it's like I'm going for nope, not going forward, dude. I was I got chills when I saw that because it took me back. Right, I think yeah. a lot of people who are here now don't know the Hidden Cup Two Max, and it's 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 tough to rewatch honestly because we were much worse as casters. Um, Awful. Also, the the graphics, I, I still appreciate. The classic graphics from a nostalgia perspective but like you can look back at that and there's definitely a feeling of how did we do this <laughs> yeah um actually i have played 
not too long ago. Like I go back to Vubli occasionally and play, and it only takes me about two games. Okay. Before mentally everything is looking the same. Hmm. It's like when you're a kid, right? Think about the games you used to play as a kid. And then you go back now, you're like, how on earth did I think this was so realistic? <laughs> but your mind fills in those gaps. Yeah, right? I guess that's fair. Yeah, I mean, it's funny because this was the game that I played as a kid. And this is the game that mm -hmm. everyone played as a kid. But we're talking about the OG version. So, mm -hmm. so walls for heart. And it will be walls for Baba. Five on wood with the wood upgrade. This is definitely a fast castle for him. And obviously players have to work for this, but both players kind of choosing to do the same. Gives us more time to talk about things. So let's say, uh, let's say at the conclusion of this series, Hart ends up making it into the main event, right? Yeah. What trait does Hart have that you would look for if you were really looking for Do you want a him? positive one? <clears throat> I want positive, negative, I want honest feedback. Okay, well, if we're you mid said, do you want a positive one? Makes me think you have a negative one. <laughs> if, if, hey, listen, listen, dude. If we're mid imp, right, and everything's looking, everyone, everything's looking good. The micro's on point, production's on point, whatever. And you look back at the base, uh -huh. okay, and there's a lumber camp, thirty-five tiles away, and they're working on not the first, but the second wood line that is farthest away from that lumber camp. That's probably hard. Interesting. He does not refresh them. I don't know if you've noticed this, but it is a serious problem. <laughs> for him. Okay. It's a big problem. Huh. Interesting. I wouldn't have thought about that. The thing, and this is more of a positive side for Hart, that I think he does, that he is top three in, is Arabia style map. So, like what we just saw in slopes, Arabia style openings, and expanding his farms. I think it's him, he and Hera are just insane. At oh, yeah. like range stable micro and farming and uh, we saw a lot of that in nac so that would be the big thing for him and then i think unfortunately in some cases for players the separator is how far does this hero go right like yeah. if if like uh it's the two players let's say hera and heart play identical in hidden cup main event but one of these heroes makes the final i think people are then gonna say well that must be hera right instead of heart but i mean I think Hart's skill set on land maps is just ridiculous. Imagine we had a hidden caster cup. Oh my god, that'd be the most transparent thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, there's a few things that we both say that I think would be pretty obvious. What would we use voice changers for that? You could be Morgan Freeman because no, you've no, already no, done no, that no, before. No, 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 no. I meant like I meant casters playing. Oh yeah, that wouldn't be very close. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be close, and it'd also be very apparent who is who. I. Honestly, I think someone should host that. Could we do like maybe like a hundred K prize pool for that? I think like Oh look at the zebra from Babarum. <laughs> oh my god, it's gone around the tree twice. <laughs> Get in there! He wants the zebra underneath the awning, man. Yeah, hid hidden caster cup would be what would be something. In before in before you go in all cocky and then I and then I beat you in like oh, a dude. best of three with listen, hidden buildings and stuff. Listen, we've already established that I feel like if I was the favorite I'd be feeling nerves. I talked about how I thought maybe in Hart's position he could be nervous. You better believe, dude. If I, dude, if I, I lost a training game to you when we were testing the map Cup five years ago, and I remember <laughs> that freaking siege workshop and monastery behind my TC like it was yesterday, and I cannot get it out of my head. So yeah, I, I would be terrified. I was gonna have more nightmares. The best one was th me petarding your TC on Nomad when you were at 99%. Oh, with for me, oh, my TC was at 97%. And the thing is, people, I don't remember any of my wins. I only remember the losses. It's so bad. Actually, no. Dave, do you remember when I stole both your boars with my eagle? Oh, my God. Oh, it, Aztecs against Koreans uh -huh. on Arabia. And he takes both of my boars. Uh-huh. And I almost lost, actually. <laughs> I made a castle behind your base with one villager. That yeah. Game, so I. <laughs> we were we were not feel as like good. I won. <laughs> we were not as good. I also, it was it was one eagle stealing both boars. Since then they've changed it. It's not possible. But on the eagle leg too. That was impressive. Yeah, it was almost dead, right? And if you were to be casting it and looking at the boar steal, you would have been hyping it up, guys. You look back at my eco, I had 12 idle villagers. I'd misclicked mm -hmm. three villagers on a wood line. All the, I ran out of sheep. My vills were all around. It was bad. 
But uh, yeah, it was about sending a message. I, so, if we do that though, you should you should include an invitation to Titans League for whoever wins that. What? That that'll just guarantee my victory because you're never. <laughs> What is this? A, is this a T90 loses in his own tournament joke? Joke? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, right. It'll never get old. It'll <laughs> never get old, dude. Well, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I, I regretted motivating people very quickly. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Three TC is here for heart. Yep. It's a fast castle with Khmer, just like we expected. And it's way faster than Baba Rum. But Baba Rum does have. Some eco upgrades, and he's getting the second uh, wood upgrade now. Yeah, and it's and there's there's two big reasons why Hart is faster. First off, Hart's Khmer, so we can skip all these steps. But the other thing is, he hasn't even gone for a stable. This is like mm -hmm. as tight as the build can get here. He barely has res collected or, or the res to produce out of all of his TCs. But he's gone really greedy with the eco upgrades. He should have a lot of vills producing. And uh, wow, he actually canceled... Uh, Horse collar, or no, um, heavy, heavy plow, plow. really yeah. late because he didn't think he'd have build production. And That's then, smart. Yeah, I like that. Baba's adding a stable, and Baba can't skip the buildings, right? So it makes sense that Baba's up this quote unquote late. Like heavy plow, if we're talking about sieves where it's effective, it's the least effective for Khmer. So mm -hmm. really, True. really uh, good balance there. And now he goes for it. So that's fine. Okay, so scout control for Baba Rum. I gotta add the O, I was told, but it doesn't feel like there's a big difference if I miss it, people. Um, should be monasteries eventually on a normal map. I still feel like the amount of times players are going for relics is like... I mean, monks can definitely help, so it's not gonna hurt you in fights and whatnot, mm -hmm. but also... This is Gold Rush we're talking about. I think you can get away with giving up the relics and be just fine. It's just a nice little... It feels good to have the relics. Yeah. I think it feels better than it actually is. Yeah. But it's a, It's like a It's like a sense of comfort, you know? It's like a blanket on a cold day. Well, you, you always feel like you have an advantage. And also mm -hmm. in a boomy game, it's it kind of adds an objective. Because right now, they're just adding eco. But I will say, Heart Scout's still alive. And that scout could disrupt some of the relics coming in. Uh, the Frenchman is on stone here, which Hart is not, so he might be thinking about a castle or a TC towards the middle. And there is stone available for Hart. Hasn't taken it yet, and he's going to now drop a stable. So he doesn't want to sacrifice too much map control. I like what Hart has done here. He has a good economy, Ooh, but Scout's he can't gonna give spot up map the villager. Control. Scout's going to spot the villager, and no loom. Ooh. No loom. Let's see what Baba... Ba 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 <laughs> Baba Ru I'm just gonna say Baba Ru Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, it, we know they know what we're trying to say. Still no loom, dude. Still no loom, but the villager on the mm -hmm. hill will win that fight, actually. And that is a really important position here. Baba now has to back away. And I would say that he probably didn't realize he doesn't have loom right now. Because I think that's a tech that you should want to put in queue right now. Art did a great job saving that scout. It's still alive, and he really? makes another scout too. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. I mean, he tried to bait the light cap back into the TC, and Baba, <laughs> Baba Rum, <clears throat> my mouth. It, it, we just can't do that and then extend the sentence, right? <laughs> it's, it's difficult. But Baba Rum is actually coming in here. He's gonna try and snipe some villagers on the wood line here. Still no loom. It comes in now. Yeah, nice and timing. He's in the back. Nice timing from Hart. Hart knows these units are weak. You see the confidence to fight that back? Just these tiny little movements. Some players are just like, I don't have the APM to deal with that. I'm not going to, but Hart hasn't lost a villager yet. I think at the same time, though, Baba Rum is very comfortable having Hart react here. And he has the Siege Workshop. I just, I do feel like the second you see that Hart has Light Cap, you got to cancel the Siege idea. Or at least yeah. make sure your Siege is protected. Because Siege is not going to do too much if Hart has Cap. Yeah, or send some spearmen forward or something like that. It, it's going to be really, really difficult, right? Look at the Khmer eco, though. Khmer are so insane, and mm -hmm. I, I th feel like always had respect for it, but now I have even more now that we have these this resources collected stat. Yeah. Khmer always seem to be ahead, even against Burgundians. You just go FC, you get the villagers up, you get the farm count up, and the food is just injected directly into your bank account. It's villager. absolutely brutal. That villager dies. Yeah, this is this is uh, you, you get paid every hour you work as the Khmer. You don't have to wait till 
till payday. <laughs> like the other Sims. Yeah, I mean, Babarum got some vision on the stables. He should know it's heavy light cab play. Likely wants to do that himself, but maybe he wants something better than that. His villagers, still no loom, are walking here probably to build a defensive castle. This is making me very scared for him. I did, hope he lose. Yeah, yeah. He did Losing lose that bill is actually good. Is actually good because he'll be reminded that he doesn't have loom, and he just keyed it up. <laughs> you would hope. You would that hope. Losing that villa is is good. Woo woo woo. It's coming. I like how many times we are able to turn something so negative for a player into a positive. It's a it's a real skill. Oh, right? Splits from. <laughs> Just casually splits around those light cap. Baba Rum was trying so hard to protect the monk. Doesn't work. Heart takes a light cap out and then gets away. And the siege is still very lonely inside of that workshop. It is, but it does make you think twice about where you build a castle now. Because you have to expect that there's going to be some level of resistance from the enemy. And now it's not just going to be a light cap war. We're also going to have a unit, which is insanely strong in these situations. So... I mean, especially with, with Hart just now thinking about the castle. Look at where how many light cab he has. It's just insane. And now Barrack's coming up from Hart. Yeah. So he's going to have the light cab for control. Baba Rum is going to have to play pretty defensively here, even with the Castillier. And then the Pikeman will come out from Hart. I would love it if he attacked grounds the weak light cab in there. I would never pay attention to it. Oh! Oh, he went for it. <laughs> he and he went missed. For it. Yeah, and he missed. <laughs> but honestly, in the end, he takes a really good fight considering how many light cab were there. And he can just back away there. Nice job from Art's him. Art's got enough stone for a castle. I think it's coming middle. It is coming middle. Wow. Will that be spotted? And is it even going to end up being good to go middle if Babu Rum is going to be up to imp here? He stopped, he stopped the barracks. Making a sta he made a stable and he deleted the other ones, okay. Dave, what a sick uptime here from Baba. Like, Hart's thinking, that is sick. I just took map control. He invested into a castle before me. I'm going to be great. But now he's going to get the middle castle. But if Imperial Legion is so in so much faster, that could lead to a trap war. Look at the farms from him, too. The farm eco. You've never seen farms that clean, dude. That's -uh. crazy. Yeah, I'm more, I'm more Khmer only. It's a little bit more scattered. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, the sad thing is Khmer is actually the sieve I have the best win rate with. And I <laughs> I will maintain I my why. farms are actually fine now. It, it's an old meme, but it, there, it makes me sad. I just can't lose with the sieve. And it's, yeah, it's anyways. Light cab doing the right thing. Running around to the other side. They're going to look for opportunities. But Baba Rum has already walled up on that side. He just needs to get to the one to the Ooh. edge of the map. If he notices this, he can easily gate that. I love how Hart has continued to run. So many players assume the opponent is walled there. He's actually double checking. He's also building outposts on the other side. Hart is being attacked himself right now. And he has to defend from this. Still not on his way to imp, but the light cap have made it into Baba Ram's eco. I don't think he notices that actually, Dave. He's losing quite a few vills back there. He's losing a lot of vills back there. He was focused on the other fight. And Hart, good job from him. I mean, Hart has more army right now, but he's going to lose that monk. Well played. I think we know Hart's the favorite. We've established that. Tying this up right now could maybe start to build some confidence for Baba Rum. He's in him so much faster than Hart. Just has to kill these two pesky light cab, and he can be okay. Doesn't have a university, though. So, can't get chemistry yeah. if he wants to. Is going to have to rely on the treads and only has one castle. So I think Hart can buy himself, especially with the amount of stone in the bank, he could either repair this castle, yeah. or he could just choose to fall back a little bit. I think he's going <laughs> to buy himself enough time. And Baba Rum realizes he doesn't have a university, so he's forcing it up with three villagers right now. Hart also trying to go for a town center on the right side where the knights are from Yeah, Hart. yeah, 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 yeah. You oh. can't be doing that. You cannot be doing that. It's just no. Hart has made this so messy, and he's made so much army. And the extended castle age play with the additional army has worked out for him massively. He's also... Hart has made a ballista elephant. I think Drop he the might tree. actually chop the tree and get into Baba Rum's eco. Get inside. There's one tree on the left side. I don't think you can go right because that's where the focus is right now. Yeah. He's actually sending the elephant... He's not sure. Well, maybe he wants... Maybe he thinks ballistas are really good against halbs, which they are. And he might actually want to make a lot of ballista elephants here. Uh, maybe. 
Oh, man, it's just, right now, Heart has... We thought being later to Imp would be a problem for him, but he has a lot of control. But now Halb is in. And Heart, uh, Heart is only making Knights against Halb that will not last. And the second Treb's already out. The third Treb will follow. Heart needs an answer. I think right now, as Heart's Ballistas go underneath the castle... Heart needs to remember something that a lot of players forget with Khmer. They do get hand cannons. They do not get bomber mm -hmm. cannons, but they do get gunpowder. I think that against Halb with gold control in the middle could be really strong here. Yeah, Scorpions are just too unwieldy here to go for. And very, very difficult to get the mass up and then actually do something with it. So hand okay. cannons seem to be a good solution as the Halbs push in. And this oh, is just man. wasted resources on these Ballista Elephants. But the Knights are coming in again to try and raid as Baba Rum tries to get that town center up on the right side. Also, Light Cav threatening to get in on the left. There's just too many fires to put out right now for Baba Rum. He did pre-wall this TC because he walked past the outpost. New Heart would be there. It's interesting. Heart is basically trying to say he's trying to distract Baba in different areas so Baba Rum can't protect his traps. But Baba Rum mm -hmm. always has the traps protected in some way, shape, or form. It's really tricky. Heart's trying to peel him apart right now. He's doing a good job, but still no Cavalier upgrade. Cavalier, no hello? <laughs> Cavalier? Hello? Right side, Dave. The, the raids from Heart still paying off, still finding some kills there. It's awkward, but it's happening. Middle. Castle goes down for Heart. He'll lose the middle hill. If Baba Rum can run to that hill right now with some halves and drop his own castle, he could take the hill. This is such a messy game. Heart has made it messy. Baba Rum has the lead? Question mark? <laughs> Heart make, make some foundations here. Oh. Nice job from Heart. He places the houses just on time. He had vision on that, even repairing the Treb. Wow. That's, as, super, uh, that's really smart. Baba Rum managed to repair the house on the left, too. Heart still doesn't have Cavalier. Makes me feel like he thought he clicked it, and he didn't. Hey, I think he did click it and canceled it, honestly. Okay. Um, maybe and now he just wants to go light cap. But, I mean, his castles are going to go down. He built the ranges next to this area. So, while he will have hand cannons, he will likely lose the ranges. And right now, I know it might have felt inevitable after the 18-minute victory from Hart in game number one, but Hart does not have a response to all this pressure. Murr in this Civ matchup are all about mobility and mixing it up and raiding, right? Yep. They're not about the big fights in the middle, unless you can somehow get Ballista Elephants, like 30 of them. Yep. And right now, Baba Rum is putting so much pressure on Hart and the production buildings, like you mentioned, forward are gonna be brutal. And Burgundians should be favored. Yeah, If agreed. it's just a straight up battle in the middle. Gunpowder too, Burgundians do have very strong gunpowder themselves. It would be the better gunpowder units Heart, though, has found kills still. He's killed 33 vills. It does feel like Baba Rums have actually have an issue for wood right now. Because everywhere you look, Heart's trying to break through. But in the middle, still there's all those trebs for Baba Rum. But that might change because Heart is using villagers and light cav against some of them right now. And no. Baba Rums using trebs against the, the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sure. know. Did he friendly fire his own trebs there? <laughs> no, you can't do that. Uh, only with Britons. Yeah. I lost the king to that once. Oh, man. Classic. I mean, hand cannon count is getting higher for Hart. He still has access to gold. He still hasn't lost grounds. He still hasn't been killed off. And this has just gotten so messy, man. Just It's so random now. This is the type of game that Hart isn't used to... Uh, he's, it doesn't feel comfortable here, let's just say. This is the type of game that an underdog needs. Paladin coming in. What? Paladin with one knight on the field right now. That's crazy. And and that that isn't even a Cavalier because it was a converted knight. So he's upgrading Paladin with a knight <laughs> on the field. <laughs> Not something you see every day. Yeah, true. That well, is cheaper for the Burgundians, but as he waits for that, Hart has had consistent production of Hussars and hand cannons. And is that waiting period that is going to give Baba Rum problems, but the Paladin surprise could end up swinging this, but he has to hold that middle area. Also still has to be very careful. He's exposed on the right. When you've got Hussar and your opponent's not pressuring you, mm -hmm. immediately raid. That's what Hart's thinking. Yep. He's going to do it. He's consistently been pulling Baba Ram away from that middle area. He needs to wall that off. A hundred percent. Yep. Like, this is where the Khmer shine in this matchup. With the mobility. 
Paladin will be nice. Paladin will be great. And hopefully Baba Rum can get some Paladin into the back of Heartseeko. But right now, he's still the guy that's just being completely raided all the time. I think... I love how Heart sends these two Hustlers to the very back. I think, like, 20 Paladin, though, takes all of Heart's Siege and his Gunpowder. And then maybe Baba could push the, the castle. <laughs> but then you need Siege. You need Siege of your own. Yep. That's and fair. he only has one Treb. Oh, man. This is Hart has made this so difficult for his opponent here. But now Paladin's coming through. Hussars just continue to run through the castle fire. Maybe Ballistics would make sense. But Hart's only Treb is going to go down. His hand cannons are exposed here, too. Crazy game. 150 villagers right now for Hart. Just 125 for Baba as he continues to lose them. But both players have gold saturation. It is still more awkward for Hart to take it. His gold is not far away from this castle. Yeah, he's Khmer, though. And he has full upgrades on the Hussar. Yeah. So if it continues and he gets kicked off the middle, it's not unlikely we'll see a situation where he's got like 65 farmers and he's just spamming Hussar everywhere. I love the fact Baba Rum found that stable on the left, too. And he killed that villager. So he's oh, yeah, not going to let the, the stables expand over there. I and think then those things will come flying into his eco as well. Oh, man, this is the perfect play from Baba. Baba says... Thanks for the idea. I will now raid you. And it's not a Hussar raid. It's a Paladin raid. It's a Paladin raid. And Hart yeah. doesn't have Halb yet. So six Paladin on the right. That has to be dealt with. And then there's going to be 10 or so Paladin on the left. And Hart's Ika was protected in Castle Age. It is so exposed here in the Imperial Age. I, I do not know how Hart can keep these villagers alive right now. This actually might be one of the rare cases where Town Bell is better than garrisoning. Because <laughs> you're Khmer with all the houses, right? There's not enough room inside that town center. He's trying to defend against all these paladin, but like you said, so much more deadly than a Hussar raid. Yep. And Hart now is distracted. His hand cannons run directly into paladin, and Hart is falling apart. Hart's population is dropping both in vills and in military, which is not what you want. And this underdog, on a day where the underdogs have, have not really had it, is here to play here against Hart, and he has middle gold control. He's killing most of the villagers that Hart has on gold. Well, actually, there's plenty more he could kill. This feels like Hart has kind of run out of steam right now. The Paladin play from Baba Rump was perfect here. As you can tell, the game shifted as soon as that raid came in. Yeah. As soon as it came in, Hart suddenly is not putting the pressure on. He's not dictating the game. It's all Baba Rump now. And that castle, once it goes down, will leave that gold completely exposed. Hart is trying to take initiative once again and send more Hussar forward. He's actually got a good raid in the north with these two Hussar, but he still has to deal with Paladin mm -hmm. in the south. He needs and to find a way. And his villager count is down to 120. It was up at 145, right? Yeah. He had killed 50 vills and lost like 10, and now it's pretty much even with the vill kills. I love how patient Baba Rum is with his halves. He never looks away from them. He's always keeping them directly next to those Bombard Cannons because he knows that Hart's distractions are all so he can run out here and snipe this siege and keep this castle up. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that's going to happen. And even if you have to defend with Paladins if you're Baba Rump, that's probably okay. At home, he's doing that. But Hart needs gold, and he needs gold fast. Hart has been killing a lot of Vils behind. Baba Rump is down to 120. He's kept constant villager production, but Hart can't do anything. It's going to get kicked off the goal. Great job from Baba Rum. Great switch into the Paladin for some mobility. Really, really nice stuff. Yeah, I mean, I think he could have easily stayed on Halb and Hand Cannon and felt as though his army composition was superior because the Burgundian Hand Cannon so so good, because Hart was spamming so many units from the stables. But that sneaky switch to Paladin, the fact Burgundians have those cheap stable upgrades, and he hid that from Hart, and he only showed Hart once Paladin was already in with some upgrades, that was impressive, and again, man, it makes it exciting. Baba Rum showing on more closed maps, more boomy maps. He's got what it takes, and Hart made this very messy, too. How many times have we seen the favorite make it messy, and then the, the underdog just crumbles? Mm -hmm. So, exciting Katie, times. very even. Also, game time, 44 minutes, 44 seconds. <laughs> Satisfying. <laughs> KD, 232 to 222. The only reason that's... Uh... It's a discrepancy there is because he lost to Vil2. Yeah, woo, woo, woo. Get Loom, folks. Well, we have ourselves a series here. Scores 1-1. One, one. And I do wonder, now does Hart feel a little bit more pressure? <laughs> here we are. Game number three. 
and we have ourselves a series. This is a long best of seven. This is the final best of seven to determine who goes into the main event of Hidden Cup 5. And in the main event, the players will be playing on Heroes. You will have to guess who they are. They will not even know who their opponents are. It's going to be crazy. Um, Hart's gone for the Persians, and then Baba Rum's gone for the Japanese. And last time we saw the Persians, it was against the Huns, which sparked a conversation for us, Dave, that maybe the Persians just maybe have some bad matchups here. Um, still think they're strong, but if the Japanese get going, Persians could have some problems with their military. Also, we didn't see a single uh, contest on water with the Persians in that first set, right? Mm, true. So, Mihai did prevent that with the walls, but that's really where the Persians are going to shine against the Huns. And they can even do well against the Japanese with that, because their docks take forever to take out. So, maybe that should be the focus if you're playing Persians. Because if I think about it, the majority of the games the Persians lose, they're getting yeah. pressured early on land. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I also think that the Persians have just as much flexibility to go land pressure even before a dock. The extra wood and the extra food gives them one of the best mm -hmm. either man at arm rushes or something I could see from heart is maybe just the frush, the two militia play into an archery range. So, um, you know, I think just going scouts or, or yeah, not contesting someone else's pond is maybe... I don't know if mistake's the right word, but it's just not taking advantage of the early bonuses the Persians have quite to the Beautiful same Beautiful pawn setup for Hart on the left side. So wallable. Yeah, To true. prevent any villagers coming over there. Really, really nice. And also, actually for Baba Rum, one wall, and you basically eliminate the opportunity for Hart to come over, unless he wants to sneak all the way to the south. Yeah, so I've seen both these players play this map, and they take very different approaches. Hart will... I'd be shocked if he goes for a full wall early. I think he's going to be aggressive. And it might be Baba who goes for the full walls. It was this map. <clears throat> uh, Baba was playing Malians on cross in that crazy game five against Nikov in a series everyone expected Nikov to win. And he went kind of like Mihai and uh, Sobek did earlier, just with walls and fish booming. He didn't really go that aggressive. But against Hart, you got to know something's coming on lands, dude. Baba Rum thought about pushing the deer, and then he goes forward, and he's going to oh. run right into the opponent's town center. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice job. Okay, so no Mihai opening that we saw earlier today. <laughs> the Mihai, Mihai wins 4-0, and we're like, Mihai opening, running into the TC. Yeah, that, that was rough for him, but he made it happen. Hart's pushing his deer. I mean, this is, again, the same theme. Hart feels he's so good, he can sacrifice scouting intel and just adapt. Baba Ram, more of a classic style and more strategic style, feels like he needs information over anything. Don't look down on information, man. It's so incredibly important. With four... It's going to confirm that the dock is over here, yeah. and Hart even walled in that villager, even though it's so close to his town center. So that's just something you always have to do in tournaments. I've been... That's one of the things I'm most disappointed in players for on this map when they don't wall in their vill. It's like, you should do that in a ranked match, let uh -huh. alone a tournament match, right? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm with you there. And, and Baba Ram's also going to see the wood line. He may feel like, ooh, that could be walled if he's thinking about walls himself. But I think we're about to see a barracks here from Hart. I could just I could just sense it, dude. Game, the previous game was full wall. Previous game was a boom. Hart wants to remind Baba Ram the type of player he is at the start of Feudal Age. And Baba's not scouting that right now. Um, also, something to point out about this map, Gen, is if you lose map control on land, good luck taking mm -hmm. gold, because neither of them have a safe gold. It is all in the middle. It's all in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to see a barracks as well from Baba. Ooh, okay, so scouting's huge now, right? Because they're both going to go for a similar build. Hart clicks up. Baba Rum clicks up. Scout for Baba knows where Hart is. We'll see what he sees on the front here. But, like, the thing here is that Baba Rum has not been pushing deer at all. Mm -hmm. Scout push, or Scout, <laughs> Hart, his name is now Scout. <laughs> Hart pushed the uh, the deer in, and he gets the same amount of information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As Baba Rum. That's because why the they, timing that's was what perfect they do it. on yeah. it. Yeah. Exactly, that's why they're able to do it. I think, but like, let's say 30%, let's say 50% of the time, 
you're still getting the information. But the other 50%, there's a risk. Yep. And, and Babaram doesn't even see because he's pretty confident in his scouting so far. He doesn't even see the barracks and oh, the two man. militia but coming you've out. Gotta, the scouting's got to be better. I think he's thinking about sneaking a vill so much that he's forgetting. You have to check the gold. He doesn't even know where the main gold is. This is something that Babaram should absolutely be looking for. I think Hart noticed the militia and maybe even the vill, but certainly the militia was spotted. And Hart's going to see that. That is a dead militia right there. It is very uncommon to see players split up their militia like this. Because uh, this is what will happen. Yeah, dead militia, Baba Rum, wasteful there. You know, I think he might have seen the walls from Hart. And from his perspective, Hart was trying to get the walls up early. Mm. And he was trying to maybe like fish boom or send a villager forward to contest the pawns because okay. he didn't spot that barracks and he scouted so much. So maybe he sent it forward early because he wanted to deny the walls and like create an opening for himself. If you think of it from his perspective, but now he's got three more militia and well, hearts to militia drush here. The mini drush is, uh, it's not going to really find it that much, but it will hold Babaram in his own base. Yeah, and, and Hart invested into two militia. Well, Babaram has invested into four now. And so these militia have been spotted by Hart. He's distracting them now. He knows that there's militia. Like, this is this is actually one of the dream scenarios of his build. Is force your opponent into further investment and then delay them from getting to your base. Stable behind this for Hart is interesting, though. And I think usually it's going to be archers. So he certainly changed something there. Oh, like 75% of the time it's going to be archers. Yeah. That's, if not more, that's actually crazy as Hart now finds the villager on the dock from Baba Rum. The walls were there earlier, I believe. Yeah, and he deleted, and he the deleted walls. them. He deleted the walls, and that should be a villager kill. Stuck! Same Not time, stuck. Hart is micring. He is going to go scouts, and he's going to go archers. Tons of military on land while still fishing at home and still also has a villager in the north. Hart is playing this, like... So well. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have a wall north, but by the time those units loop all the way through, he's already ha having an archer yeah, in production. True. So this is perfectly acceptable for Hart, and Hart also has a dock in the north. Baba Rum Ooh. coming up for a dock there too. Baba Rum may assume that Hart is not docked there because usually a player coming from Hart's position is going to have docked this side. Mm -hmm. So that actually gets really interesting. There's also no shorefish there for some reason for Baba. So Baba might not love the dock position. He might find a villager, though. He might find a villager. He might find a villager. What can Hart do here? Hart Engages. Is... He's got the archer coming over. The, the militia are not Ooh. chasing yet. And, oh, man. He's not going to get that guy. I felt like a lack of confidence there with the micro. Guys, they're doing so many things. In the south, we had a fire galley already for Baba Rum. So he's protecting that pond. The militia have actually paid off with distractions quite a bit here because Hart hasn't had a ton of army follow-up. But as I say that, the scouts from Hart are in the north and the scout play pays off. That could be two villager kills if Baba doesn't get those quick walls down. Baba Rum opens with fire in the north up there. Ooh, okay. Just like he opened fire in the south as well. He's going to maybe find an archer kill at Hart's eco. Please go after the weak one. Please go after the weak one. Really doesn't good. get Honestly, it. though, that is still really sick micro to keep his scout alive and and not just toss away the militia. Like, these three archers are going to be a problem for him if they ever come to his base. And as he's probably going to lose the militia now because he's distracted, kills an archer with the militia. Because they're looking elsewhere. 7 to 3 KD. Yeah, there's another fight going on. Yeah. I'm watching the other fight in Baba Rum's base. He already lost the villager to these scouts. Hart just casually microing around that spearman. He's looking for an opportunity to go in for those archers, and he just runs right past. And Baba Rum still has a headache back here. Baba Rum's going to kill. He is attacking the fish, though, in the north. Yeah, I was just going to say, Baba Rum's fire galley pays off big time. And he's going to kill most of those fish as well as at a second dock. And honestly, like, this is super close, man. Like, if, if Baba Rum just cancels some of the vills he has in queue right now, he could be up to Castlage at the same time. Mm -hmm. He is walled. Hard scouts are unlikely to do anything. Japanese, a pretty good matchup against Persians. Most of us feel with the Halbs and with the Cav Archers. Ooh, villager in the north might go down. Okay, she's taking a little bit of damage behind the walls and Hart saves her. We might see nice. Archers head over there, honestly. The Hart scouts just running around, but they're going to determine that this is walled up. And, well, 
They might not run around much longer if they go down. What a close game here, Dave. This has been an amazing series so far. Really, really solid recovery here from Baba Rum, especially after he didn't spot the Drush, yep. right? His first yep. militia got cleared up and everything. He lost the villager at the back. He lost another one on the walls. Really solid recovery. And suddenly, he's stopping the Dock Foundation from Heart in the south. He's got control over the north. Decent control, anyway, and double Dock up there. And his fishing eco at home hasn't been disrupted and he's either. Getting and now fletching. he's fully walled. He's getting fletching, and Hart does not have that upgrade. And Hart was not expecting this number of archers. Babaram has the left hill here. He is boxed Hart out from an escape. And Hart should lose his army here. He's going to get destroyed. This is amazing for Babaram. What a recovery. Okay, stop dancing around and just kill him. <laughs> just getting close and kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, this is so good. Hart is also not fully walled, by the way. The berries on the front are a, a concern. His gold is a concern, and he might need to tower that. And with that faster castle age, we could see a whole lot of things here from Baba. He's going to build a stable on the front. He does need to maybe gate his walls there so there's not a hole, Ooh, but Hart is going to nice. need a tower here. Look at the dock in the south. What a nice little position to set that up. Oh, in. man. That's why the a lot of players will add a that galley. Yeah. Dang. But the galley, it feels like it never denies the dock. The galley just never does anything against that. And Babaram notices right away. He goes for another fire galley. Should probably add a second dock there, but he doesn't really have the wood supplies as the archers now push in. Hart with the armor for his skirmishers. So should be able to keep himself safe against this initial archer expansion until Crossbow is in. But Hart is right behind him yes. to cast. Hart is right behind him. It's a close game. I mean, game one, all Hart. Game two, Tightly contested. Gabe 3, very tightly contested. Res collected Ooh. is so close. Look at the north, Tristan. Look at how many ships Hart has in there. I don't think Baba Rum's going to expect this many. It's and true. the War Galley upgrade is coming in. The dock should survive long enough for that to complete. And that's Persians, right? Only Persians can sit here against that many fires and still not have their units ejected. No Hart way. Almost gets the kills Doesn't there. Kill the Fires have popped out. Hart is leading. Hart will take the Northern Pond. Hart will take yep. the Northern Pond. And he's also killing some archers in the middle of the map with those skirms. But there is a knight for Baba. Baba's going to have cav archers as well. So it's going to be knight and cav archer. And Hart, he's focusing so much on water. He's going to lose control of land right now. Yeah, it's really, really difficult, though, when you're Persians. And you're thinking about all the units that the Japanese can make. You don't have the techs yet for your knights, yep. which is absolutely brutal. Um, your skirmishers are going to be underwhelming against not just in the late game, but also against the knights in the mid game here from Baba Rum. It's, it's a tough position to be in if you're hard. Tough position without gold. Tough position if you feel you were the heavy favorite and you're starting to go down. The micro from Baba Rum was ridiculous there. He's not even fighting with crossbows. These things should be so afraid. And Dave, behind it, he's feeling it. Second TC, Baba Rum. Third TC, Baba Rum. We'll transition into those farms. But Hart, credit to him for not losing these pawns. Like, the fact that he's been able to recover in the north is crazy. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he's now contesting in the south is crazy. Wow! Villager goes down on the wood line. Crossbow is in, but the skirmishers are chasing. And now Hart needs to make sure he gets good conversion on one of these knights. Yeah. There's still a threat to those skirms. He's got a knight behind that's very weak. Um, Baba Rum can still easily win this fight if the positioning is correct. Skirms are, are incredibly weak here. Like, those crossbows could actually deal with all of this. You're right. That monk is really valuable for Hart here. Hart does not even have any other knights in queue. The crossbows go in there for the monk. Baba Rum's going to dive. He takes the monk. He can take the skirms as well. This guy's micro is ridiculous right now, and he pushes hard skirms back. Elite Skirm was such an investment for Hart, and we haven't seen it pay off just yet. Now, Baba Rum is really making Hart work for this, and the Cav Archers are being added behind this. So there will be units here soon that can just swoop in and start killing villagers. Hart needs to start thinking about backup walls, maybe. More <laughs> units coming out to take care of the knights, at least. Dude. He does have control over that southern pond now and control over the northern pond. Really good great. TC from Hart as well on the, near that wood line and the stone. 
because otherwise mm -hmm. that wood line would be super exposed. Babaram's looping over there with the CA because he knows that Hart isn't on the wood line he just passed. And he runs into that TC, and of course, Hart reacts instantly, which is what you would expect from how he's played this. If Hart can get the cleanup here on these crossbows and these knights, and the knights are very weak, this could be amazing. But I think the recognition from Baba Rum here is, I'm going to lose these crossbows, so I need to take villagers with me, and yep. maybe he can get a few more, actually. I mean, he tried to get within minimum range, and then he would just found himself completely surrounded <laughs> by the skirms. Yeah. But I'm, tossing those crossbows isn't the worst, because you have the Cav Archer follow-up, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Only thing right now is, how's his eco? What's his farming eco look like? His farming eco, his is, farming eco is actually okay. Yeah. Yeah. Considering he's relying on the fish, and he's actually run out of fish on the right pond. Doesn't have any fish in the north, doesn't have any fish in the south now. Heart will start adding fish behind that. You also need but the to cab recognize, are pushing in in the north. You also need to recognize as a player that water adds a lot of score. So when it's three mm -hmm. pawns against one, it's expected that Hart's going to have that score with all that those ships. But the Hart ships aren't helping him in the land engagements right now, and Hart needs these skirmishers home quickly because if these cab archers break through, he's going to have a bigger problem on his hands. Hart. He's just going to drop a university there, but it's risky. <laughs> and it's also amazing that he pulled the villager that was being attacked away. And he hasn't lost anything just yet. Double stable for Baba Rum, but he doesn't have the food. Yeah. True. Like, knights in siege here would be so brutal. Oh, my God. Imagine knights with, like, plus two armor also, running in right now to Hart's eco. That would be amazing. He's going to hit to the other wood line because he knows that Hart's still distracted here, but he needs to get out of there with the skirms, and I'm noticing an upgrade that Babarum is missing, and that is bloodlines. The cav archers, the knights, the light cav, they all benefit from that. So that is needed here. And oh, there's a hole! Oh, and the cav archers make it they through, and they find more kills! And also, Hart lost a monk in the middle of the map. This is ridiculously messy, but Babarum's cav archers, no! The cav archers oh, are getting shredded in the north for him! Literally died for free. Yeah. Actually died for free. Only two of them escaped, but at the same time, the Cav Archers being very distracting as Hart just sends his bills back to work right into the Cav Archers, and he's completely off of gold right now, Tristan. Has to go for ballistics. Trying to send the villagers back out there again because there's a monk and a camel. But doesn't really have any pressure on the land eco from Baba Rum, and Baba Rum's adding a third stable. This is one of the best games of the day. Of, of maybe the last three days. This is incredible. The, the la For the last spot in Hidden Cup 5 main event, the storylines here with Baba never being expected to be in this position. How, how bad game one looked for him. And now, against Hart of all people, how good it has looked at various points. And then Hart just refusing to break. I mean, Hart needs gold, Dave. He's dropping a tower there just to protect his gold because the rest of the gold is so exposed. I think it's just a little over ambitious from Baba Rum to go for that third stable. He can't afford any production. What about, what those. about, and hear me out. What about a really forward castle? Would that be ambitious? I mean, yes. <laughs> I'm just and looking at the stone. Do it. Okay, I'm just looking at the stone. <laughs> uh, he needed to get his farming go up. He needed to put the wood from those two stables into more farms earlier. Or maybe fish, I mean, fish traps at the back there, right? Yeah. We got five fishing ships idled. It just, it just there's needed been so the many cavalry. things to focus on. <laughs> it's so tough. Oh, man. He does have the stone Hearts for a castle. Covered. I think he wanted, like, with all the control and position he had, especially going forward mm -hmm. with Siege there, I think he wanted a forward castle. But now he see, he's lost the fight. And he realizes that's not a great option for him. Like Cav, you're spot on. He just doesn't have enough of them right now. And Hart has stayed alive. Such an amazing job from Hart to stay in this game. Because it looked so brutal for him. I mean, we were just watching Hart react, 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 react. He's fist strapped on the on his starting pond. Yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they? It's yeah, it's it's beautiful. Equivalent of a T90 farm. And he's defended from this somehow. There's still a fire in that north pond from Baba Rum, and I think Hart just found that with like a fishing I think ship his or patrol, something. I think he's got like a stand ground patrol because I heard an attack sound. I don't know yeah, how he's he stand ground up there. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Those villagers. Oh! oh! Oh, God, come on! The skirms are standing on the foundation. How unlucky can you get? 
Well, if the skirms are there, it means they're not at home. And there's a lot of cav archers at Heart's base, and maybe he made the fish traps there 15 tabs away from the dock in a giga brain move so the cav archers couldn't rage them. The cav archers and light cav and knights will be in. Heart still wants to deny castle on the front, but can he? Heart has to be careful here not to overextend. There's lots of light calves and knights here. He is killing villagers, but he, his army might not be the strongest. It is so tough. There's still cav archers going down everywhere. The castle's barely being built, but in the back of Heart's base, he's getting wrecked, and this game mm -hmm. continues to deliver. Heart is to evacuate from the back of his base. This is supposed to be the safe area. Yeah, skirms, though. Skirms on that castle, Tristan. They're still putting in work, and now there's a Maginol coming forward. I mean, they will get driven away, but that's a lot of damage to be uh -oh. done at the same time he's being raided uh -oh. at the back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Castle could be denied here. This could be really bad for Baba Rum. He sees the siege. He's going to kill the siege. The castle he's will fine. go up. The yep. castle will go up, and that protects that gold. Heart lost a lot of skirmishers there, and now the army count isn't as high for Heart, and he... I, I just... But I don't know how we where we go from here. Look at the resources here for Baba Ram. He does have eight vills in the queue, but still very, very low. Yep, Heart is floating point. a ton of gold. He's got 34 on farms. He's still got the, the fishing ships going back to work now, and he's cleared up the raid at the back. It's actually funny that he didn't make that mill at the back of his base. When the raid initial came, initially came in from Baba Rum, yeah. the villagers weren't there because they were dropping food off to the DC. <laughs> next, next level strats there from Heart. Next level, yeah. Wow, crazy stuff. I mean, again, Hart has been able to swat away every attack. And now after you see the opponent's castle, normally, if you feel like you have the resources for Imp, that's what you do. And watch this, dude. Both players are going to do it. Baba's going to do it. He's saving. Hart's already clicked up, so advantage to him there. It's 114 eco against 115 eco right now. It's ridiculous level from these two. Persian TC, too. So it's even faster to yeah. go up to him. He's going to have a pretty significant advantage here. What if... Well, I'm thinking, like, what What if I'm it's listening. Cav Archer Halb, but the Skirm still will do a pretty good job against the Halbs for yeah, a while. Yeah, skirms, skirms will do well against both of those things. Yeah, yeah. Lovely stuff here. Two relics for Baba, just one for Heart. Heart has good map control on his golds now, though. Heart has found a way to control that forward area despite not having map control for so long. Also, love Heart the outposting like, from wall. both players right now. He should, like, wall from the Siege Workshop to the wood line and then the wood line to the edge so he can get that whole left side under his control. Yeah, agreed. And maybe a castle there, but the castle on this other side is great. Uh, Baba mm -hmm. might see this and choose to build his own. And he uh, is waited uh, too long. You waited too he long, waited brother. Too long. You yep. waited too long. Yeah, you can't hezzy like that. <laughs> Did you just say hezzy? Hezzy. Who abbreviates Hesitate. hezzy? Oh, all the time, dude. Never hezzy? heard of hezzy? You never heard that? How old Bro, are you're, you? You're so he ancient, dude. Hezzy? You're so are ancient. You, I'm like are you three years older than you. <laughs> I'm down. I Listen. I mean, I just didn't know. I Maybe that's a standard yeah. thing for people I'm over the age of 30 kids, to dude. say. <laughs> You're down with the kids. Yeah, you definitely are. Oh, man. Baba Rum's castle is going to be denied by skirmishers of all things. And Hart hits the Imperial Age faster, has two castles to make trebs, and Hart has stayed in it and has a massive position right now. Baba Rum's getting raided by camels of all things on the side. There's no hezzying from him there. And uh, I don't now, know what you do. If you say it like that, it just sounds weird. <laughs> yeah, because it sounded totally normal before. It's so unnatural. <laughs> but it, it is for me. It is for me in all fairness. <laughs> you have a TikTok too. This is, <laughs> this is weird, bro. Uh, yikes. Well, I mean, this game flipped on its head. It was so close. And Hart now has such a dominant position. I don't know how this guy mm -hmm. does this. Mm-hmm. I think Baba Rum tried to do too many things at yeah. once, right? And it was and Hart like had the heart had the pawns behind. And it's which tricky. Is just a nice little boost. It's tricky because he almost gained a massive lead because of all the things he tried to do. You know, it's the multitasking yeah. that made it close. But Hart was just able to stabilize, and Hart knew that this would be a trebler, and that he needs bomb more cannons as well, and that will all come. And I don't know, man, pikes against the treb this normally doesn't go very well 
for the pikemen. And even if it's Halb, it's not going to go very well. And everything for Baba Ram is going down. This is desperation. He knows he's going to lose his castles otherwise. And Heart is almost fully popped right now behind this. Really hard to break this. I, I guess like Skirm yeah, could maybe work, but there's just. It I just mean, there's skirmisher like raids time. from Heart now. He sends them in to the back. Yep. And that's just disgusting because he, he kind of needs the food eco. That's not going to be there as the Trebs now move forward from Baba Rum. He's going to try and take out the castle from Heart, but he knows Bomber Cannons will come out, snipe the Trebs. He calls the GG. Really good recovery there from Heart. It was a wild game. Pressure mm -hmm. everywhere on both bases. Heart, though, I think taking back the pawns was a huge difference yes. maker here. Baba Rum not going into cavalry earlier was because he didn't have the food eco from the pawns. Agreed. So he went three stable while he still had pawn control. And then Hart took it away, and he's like, oh, I need to add farms. This is rough. <laughs> Dude, no, you spot on. Like, Hart had one dock in the north against two and won that. And mm -hmm. then he had a dock that many people wouldn't even attempt to get up in the south because Baba Rum was already there with the fire galley. And those docks changed the game. And then from there on out, it was just defense um, and, and macro. Which the Persians do a really good job at recovering with, right? Creating all those vills. You look around, there's farming eco everywhere from him. And by the way, that is the first time in seven games in this matchup on cross that the Persians have won. So while Hart made it look easy in some cases near the end there, the Japanese normally have the edge in that matchup based on other results. Well played to Hart. He goes up 2-1. And I just want more games like that, dude. That game was so tightly contested. It was amazing. Here we are, and that previous game has pumped me up. We've got Malay, the civilization which has been played a lot and has very frequently won on this map and others for Heart. We have Baba Rum, who actually played with the Aztecs against the Malay, against Kingston in round three, Dave. And you covered that as well. It was Skirms, it was Jags, and he dominated the Malay. So he maybe predicted this matchup and maybe feels like he rates the Aztecs here. I mean, he went for the, the two militia drush in that one, and then there was a random wood line in front for Kingston, and he thought he had full walled it because yep. he didn't scout yep. at all, and yep. then he got super punished for that. So we'll see if he goes for the drush again. Uh, there's no such wood line here, but there is a long area that Hart needs to wall if he wants to keep himself safe. And the eagle comes forward right away, and it's making a beeline right for that boar. So... Every game, Hart has been pushing deer the entirety of Dark Age. Did he do his homework that Baba Rum lamed like crazy last time he played oh, Baba Rum takes two sheep, too. It is risky to steal this, dude. It is risky to steal this. because Don't hezzy. He's not hezzying. And the boar is actually... Oh, 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 oh. oh. That was way too close. <laughs> dude, Hart, Hart never scouted the boar. And he's like, huh? He doesn't know. <laughs> He doesn't know. <laughs> he just sees the boar running through the darkness. And this is so risky for Baba because the eagle is slower. But he feels like he needs to take the risk. And Hart is trying to block. And Hart is trying to click. And they're both clicking. And oh, the eagle. Now he can just attack the eagle. He's so cooked here. Oh, yikes. Well, it, it, maybe it was worth the risk in Baba's mind. But there's only one way to get from your base to the enemy base. And Hart will be loving okay. that. Now, does he try and get home with these two sheep? No, no, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. What, what way can you possibly maneuver these? I think he wants to, kind of. He's going to explore this whole area while he can. I mean, he doesn't have a scout, so you might as well scout with the sheep. It's not like he's using I mean, his APM for anything else. If you can see those deer being pushed in from this side, you don't go with the sheep. But as soon as the deer have been stationary for a bit, <laughs> then maybe you go. The sheep escape. Yeah, I think it's most likely he is going to just leave the sheep there and then it's yeah. likely Hart will never get them. Hart can bring in his boar. Now, there is a slight chance that Hart weakens the boar too much because it's weak from the eagle. Nah, don't overcook it. I mean, I'm, I'm speaking from experience here and Hart yeah. realized he, he didn't go for the third volley and make that mistake. So no eagle now. That in oh, many ways oh. could eliminate what, what oh. are we... He doesn't see the deer being pushed. He's making a run for it. No way, dude. This, dude, this is like TTF racing, level number five. <laughs> you know, you have to is, run with the sheep and avoid the villagers finding it. I don't Come remember on. the sheep one. 
Find the path! He's on the way. He's building a barracks. Hart is just <gasps> happy to push the deer. And Hart is going to drop a barracks as well. Now, the Drush, the militia, a big part of that is having your scout alive to block and attack. So not having that eagle now is going to hurt Baba so much. Okay, he's making another run with the second sheep now. First guy's almost home. The scout has found the villager, though. Oh, boy. The villager should be okay. He does need to make a house somewhere else. Because that was going to be a house, Vil. There's the house. Sheep is on the way. Sheep is home. Heart now the second one. Sheep is coming. The builds don't matter here, Tristan. It's, it's just whether the he gets the sheep it's back just the in sheep. time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Actually, I mean, he's going to be spending food. He needs the sheep. So he's taking the risk. And Hart is thinking, you were going to wall here, Baba Rum. Oh, this is brutal. Yeah, so he's I'm got the militia on the way, too. He's got the militia on the way, and he's going to use the scout to block that. And, there, and like the way this is set up with that hill is just so bad yeah. for Baba Rum. But if he realizes this and surprises Hart, like Hart doesn't know that militia are being added either. So obviously, Baba Rum loses these villagers. It's going to be a horrible for him. But if he just says, oh, okay, he, did, he can make... He has three militia. He can just kind of abandon this area for the time being and go forward to Hart's base. Hart doesn't know about this. And the sheep have already scouted this. So, you know, the, the path has been scouted. Maybe Hart gets surprised. I mean, if he goes directly for the wood line, could find some damage. The unfortunate part is Loom will probably be in for Hart by that point. No, it won't because he's making the third militia and he needs 10 gold. And the 10 gold is being collected. Aztecs start with the extra gold. So Baba was able to get Loom. This is no loom situation. Go in! Did Hart Don't see? Wait for the Hart third saw one, one of the no. militia. Hart saw one of the militia. The third militia's ruined it. No, dude, come on! Oh, how dare you! Great awareness from Hart. Honestly, great awareness from him. That could have been two villagers down. Both players dude, have played like, well defensively here. This is like someone's nephew or something. He just ruined the job. You know? <laughs> we thought we were we are a group of professionals, and that suddenly. Is... That is the one guy who ruined the surprise party. The yeah. one guy who goes up to the guy they're trying to surprise and is like, can't wait to see you on Friday, bro. And he's like, huh? Like a friend We're doing of a something friend. on Friday? I thought I was yeah. doing something with someone else. Yeah. Come on, Carl. Freaky. That is such a Carl move. Seriously. Well, walls are down. And walls will be completed here for Baba. They're, they're not completed at all for Hart. And he does have three militia to deal with. But he is going to be in Feudal Age very quickly here with the melee. And he's going to have the armor, too, on these. Which is really annoying. And and Baba hasn't clicked up yet. And I assume he's going to here in a moment. But it's going to feel like he's in Dark Age forever, man. Oh, militia on the berries. Heart just pushes it away. Armor is in now for his militia. Babarum is housed because Hart killed that house. Well, he needs to. And he he needs second to one. click up at some point here. Yeah, he needs to go up. Yeah. So what Baba did against uh, Kingston, and he actually done it against Nikov too. He just went drush fast castle, and that is not meta these days. The militia into a fast castle, no one's doing. It's always what Hart is doing. Fast feudal and heavy army here. So it works. Look at before. this from Hart. Is he going forward to take the deer, or is he going forward to apply additional pressure with the tower? Looks like he's taking the deer. Okay. Dude, and the eagle never scouted that area. No, so he can't even kill the. He can't even lame the deer he, with he, the militia, yeah. and he doesn't know the vills are out there. Exactly. Yeah, I think right now, after Man at Arm has come in, Babarum has had to realize I cannot go uh, fast castle anymore. This is a ton of pressure, and he's going to bring his militia home. And then just like re-wall it and hope to clear mm -hmm. these things up. Wow, crazy. What a fun series though. Like the, the first game had me worried. But these games have really heated up for us. Just Baba, you've got to re-wall that dude. You can't let these units come through. Gotta plug the gap here. A bit weird that Hart opened with a skirmisher. Maybe he didn't have the gold. But skirmisher's not gonna help that much. Ooh, this seems this seems awkward. Uh, oof. That's just a really good fight for Hart. And now we got Vils going to the middle. What? Hold on. What's happening here? What does he see? He's trying to like wall behind it so the units Wall's can't escape his own base. 
Well, he doesn't want oh, heart. Oh no, and now there's Bills here, hello. <laughs> he doesn't want heart to be able to meet these armies up together. Nice job from Hart to stand over the foundation and realize what he was trying there. And I was wrong. He very much still wanted to go fast castle on this and felt like he could do so if it was just man at arms in his base. But he couldn't do so if it was archers and skirms. And now the archers and skirms are here and oh, damage control needed. Oh, and there's a there's a there's a gap between there's the gates. There's a hole anyway. There's and there's a hole no anyway hezzy. because of the hill. Oh god. The tower's up. Bye bye villager. Tower is up, but the men at arms are still here. Remember they have that first armor upgrade from Malay. Now Fletching is coming in and Hart will just comfortably sit underneath this tower. Yeah, and you've got to try and pull the weak units away from your tower. It's so tough, dude. And it's so brutal. Yeah, and behind this, Hartiko is untouched and Hart has killed two vills, which feels like more than enough because you've also forced a tower. Uh, Baba Man, I'm pinning this one. I'm pinning this one on Carl. 100%. Yeah, this yeah, game yeah. could have been so different yeah. if Carl wasn't there. Agreed. It's such a shame because he had he did the right thing to to wall at home and sneak his militia forward was the correct play, but Carl ruined it. Ooh, more more men at arms from Hart being added. Okay. If there was ever a sieve, okay. if there was ever a sieve to YOLO their way yeah. back into it with access to gold and a faster castle age. Aztecs could be that might sieve. be Aztecs, but the problem is that even if he clicks up the castle age, Hart might be able to identify that. Still do some damage and then click up himself and yeah. be up at a similar timing. I think what is an underrated play here, Hart will never do this. But after seeing this tower, if he realizes he can't do any more damage, stone wall behind it and then go up to Castle H. Just so mm -hmm. YOLO pressure can't come to your base. It's yeah, such and, a small and you're go, go on to stone anyway, which he's doing right now. Yeah. And then if you stone wall and your opponent gets up to Castle H with the market that you can see. Yeah. You just make a castle. If yep. they go monks, you make karambits, which are a great counter to the monks because you don't care if they get converted. And then you can maybe think about Imperial Age after that castle. And karambits are also fantastic against eagles, which is really what mm. a lot of the all-in pressure typically comes from with Aztecs. Eagles, uh, monks, karambits are great against both of those. I think Malay are a fantastic matchup here in every age against Aztecs, except for the very late game, which Baba Rum mm -hmm. wants to take this to as he's now on his way to Castle Age. But, I mean, he only lost two Vils. Of course, he has zero army, but still, only lost two Vils. Could be worse for him. Hart's going to be up around the same time, man. Hart's going to be like 25 <laughs> seconds it's, behind. It is really crazy behind. what the Civ could do, dude. Yeah. Like, Malay are just insane. We've said it so much, this qualifier. Hart's going to build a tower here, too, and it might actually mm. mean that he could take the market out. I don't think here. you want a tower there. He's going to defend the other tower from the villagers that are pushing for a great house wall there from Baba Ram. Hart can actually just enter and eject on the other side. Might but be he's kind of awkward the way around. with the pathing, actually. Mm, okay, I'd get out of here. I would get out of here. Yep. Time to leave. Uh, dude, losing your market when all this has happened is really brutal. I would feel the need to tower just to save my market, but that's probably not the play here. <laughs> you can I mean, Hart should market. probably delete that tower too. If we look, he's 30 seconds behind yeah. to Castle H. Which is insane. And he's not walled, so Eagles could get through. We could have another Carl situation where this is obvious, but... Hart now walling. He's actually added an additional man-at-arm. This might be... We might soon see the first time I've ever seen Hart research longsword here. Normally he's a knight crossbow player. Crazy. I mean, aggression. you have the plus two armor, right? It's still oh, it, there's literally one, two. I think there's a wall or a hole between the house and the palisade wall as well. There's another hole in the north. There's another hole. There's literally five gaps yeah. in the walls here from Baba Rum. Could just stream them in. Baba Rum and the first monastery denied too. So the timing here from Baba Rum is all out of whack, right? Doesn't even have enough wood to make siege or a second monastery, which he really, really wants. And now Hart will go for another tower further. Just kind of complicating the economy from Baba Rum. Yeah, right, uh, Hart. Normally in this situation, happy to defend, try and get the better eco at home with the second town center. Continuing to be aggressive, though, is a great move. He's got so much vision here, man. But he doesn't see that it's Siege and Monk yet. He did deny the one monastery, so he has to imagine there will be monks, which is probably why he's added a scout. But he's seeing the, the Eagles have been kind of time. annoying at the yes, back of his have. base. 
They've just been kind of roaming around there. Hoovering, right? Hoovering. Yeah. Light cap upgrade now for Hart. And he's probably thinking exactly what we were thinking. My opponent can't isn't going all in Eagles anymore because I have infantry. It must be monks. But it's honestly not crazy commitment from Babaram. He has really nice eco. He's just now adding the second monastery. Some players mm -hmm. would be on three already. Well, he didn't have the wood. Yeah, true. Yeah, it was, it's probably unintentional. He probably really wanted to have more. Art loses two vills. Eco KD two to two. It's 42 villagers for both. Hart's got three men at arms randomly. Archers, which can be countered by siege. Towers are going down. Is there a chance here for Baba Rum? I mean, this is buying him time, and it's buying Hart time for Baba Rum to take out all these towers, right? The pressure can't come forward right away, and Hart's just going to go for another town center behind this. He's going to collect the relics to that monastery that will probably die, so might want to think about another one mm -hmm. uh, a little bit safer. But he's still collecting stone. And a castle from Hart kind of denies this entire push from Baba Rum. You have to keep that in mind. Yeah, it's true. Will he be able to drop the castle where he wants it to be? Or will it be more so towards the back? You don't want to give the Aztecs the middle because of those relics. But Baba Ram, again, just never say die attitude. Nice quick walls there to... I mean, there's still a hole, but he's trying to block this off. And, well, he sees the light cap nope. now. That was maybe a little ambitious. But Eagle Warrior upgrade. Eagles, Monks, Siege. Light cap, a great move here from Hart, but we should remind people that Malay light cap are brutal in the long run. In that they are very bad. They are not very strong at all. Still is good against Monks. As anything else, right? Yep. Don't need the armor for those. It's actually detrimental if you get converted with the armor, because then that's coming right back at you. Yeah. There's a hole. There's a multiple holes on that wood line. Yeah, but I think it's it should be easy. Babaram will house this. Yeah, he's gonna go for the house. There's never a doubt. Never a doubt. And he brings his monks over towards his tower. The other monk is exposed. Hart tries to go in. Baba attack rounds the light cav, saves the monks, builds a TC, so two TCs for him. And Hart's light cav distracting very nicely here, but he still hasn't killed any monks yet. Nope. But this means that all of that investment from Baba Rum is nowhere near his own economy. Yeah. And he's got the relic generation going on. And he looks like he's going to pick off a Maginel, maybe even two. In the center. Ooh, really, really good stuff there from Hart to pay attention. And then most of the light cap are actually able to loop home. And he can Another heal hole up. Another the wall. <laughs> Bro, every single time I watch units run through here, there's always a hole <laughs> in Baba Rum's walls. Even where you don't expect it. I think that's like hole number nine or something. Look, this Maginel could go right. It's not going to do it. But there is a hole between the house and the palisade too. Yeah, I mean, he tried a couple times to plug the gap. And I think at this point, he's just like, yeah. nope. He's no. just giving up. Atonement, Atonement for Hart. So he can convert the monks with that. And you never expect someone to go Atonement when there's like having eagles out there. It's mm -hmm. very rare. You're thinking like, I'm Aztecs. Yeah. You can't out monk me. Exactly. It's always a surprise <laughs> when it happens. Yeah, the, uh, the monks are jealous of the hats. Long and swords, man. Long sword could be good. There's still not a lot of them, though. I, I think this Long could go. Sword, light cav, atonement monks. Here come the conversions. I mean, the eagles should be pretty good against light cav, archer, and monk, but there's so many units from heart. And now two of the monks have switched sides, and the, the monks which switch sides get shot. And heart just with sheer numbers here. His eco lead is growing behind this. He's defended from this so far. Big shots from the siege. The army count's still pretty close. What an awkward fight. I think that's a really good fight for Hart, though. You just stalled out all of that. Yeah. You just stalled out all of that. And remember, you have the relics. You have the better eco. He probably knows he has the better eco, too. And now he's got enough stone for a castle. Yeah. And that now means that Baba Rob may consider making getting more monk upgrades himself, maybe getting atonement. He might need to wait for more eagles. And yeah, that castle spot for Hart is going to be perfect to protect the relics, protect the gold, and then he can mix in karambits. Which I think are way better investment than the long swords he already has. What a what a fun game though. What a great job from Babaram to stay in it. Hart though with the lead. Oh, Babaram needs another market. That's funny. I I think he only got one monk in that initial engagement too. 
Because yeah. Hart had four going into that. He had three at the end. Really, really solid as he tries to convert another monk. Not quite within range. Needs to pull back again, but this is buying himself enough time for that castle. And almost has enough stone for another castle. Okay, monks for Hart will go down. The monks for Baba, he actually saves somewhat inside of his tower and his TC, which is creative. He's actually just hopping in and out of the tower. Now Hart's waiting for that to happen again. But yeah, soon a second castle. I mean, so often the story with the Malay is once they beat you to imp, what are you going to do? And I think when you're getting extra armor on the infantry, which is already going to be strong against this in imp, when you have the middle goal control, it's just going to be so, so difficult right now for mm -hmm. Babaram to find an answer. I mean, that castle could go forward right now. He's got the long swords to protect. He's got some monks <laughs> behind. Which it's going to be a castle Ooh. from Babaram and Hart. Once he sees that, we'll be like, okay, I'll just stall out. I'll go for a second castle. I'll go up to him. Yeah, and then and that's, the villagers even. That has to be the immediate thought. That's exactly what Hart will do. He stopped producing vills for the most part. He's even buying some food. And in no time, he will be in the Imperial Age to take that castle out. That is perfect play from Hart. Another example of how good Hart is with the situational awareness, but also how good the best players can utilize the melee in their timings. Mm hmm. And Aztecs have the weakest castles in the game. No masonry, no architecture, no hoardings. So if you're getting involved in a treb war, not the sieve that you want to have. That's yeah, for agreed. sure. I think you're kind of limited in what you can do if you're Baba. That castle obviously is a good castle. He too is trying to go imp. You always feel uncomfortable though when you do that against the Malay. It is obvious at this level from a player in Hart's position that imp is on the way too. Um, you know, you could have maybe tried to chop through the sides. Like, the main event, I think I could talk about this now. Uh, the tree line will have just 50 wood instead of 100 wood a tree to incentivize that a little okay. bit more. Um, but even still, like, Hart hasn't even outposted that, right? Like, there's, it's well, all darkness. And He's you know, had a long sword over there, just kind of chilling. Yeah. He was chilling in the middle earlier, so, so like, at least the one side he knows. But the, the other side... Babaram for sure could have gone through. Yeah, yeah, it's just an idea. Players haven't been doing it. I'd be very curious to see if the wood change actually changes things there, but it is not that difficult in Castle Age to build a lumber camp there and chop your way through, but... And again, the middle's so valuable with the gold and the relics, the middle is always going to be more valuable than anything. Jags. Jags. Making some Jags. I mean, he won with Jags before against Malay, but there he was somehow the one pushing, and he had his castles, and we're not going to see many of these beautiful, beautiful Jags because this castle did, is going to fall. Did Hart manage to find... I think he managed to find a hill there. I think he has a hill advantage over that castle, too. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, my goodness. That's a nice That's little spot. That's just double brutal, and this castle is going to buy Babaram time at best, and, you know, he made six Jags from it. That's all. And it's Need gonna to think be about another placement. And it's gonna be double castle, trebs from the opponent, and then like yep. fifty karambit warriors in your face. <laughs> it's like all before you come. hit him. <laughs> With the final infantry upgrade that they got for free as well. I love how we see the monks still behind. We got the eagles as well, and damn, dude. Interesting how hard is getting atonement. Like, he really doesn't want these tiny little karambits to get converted or something. You mean devotion? <laughs> or devotion, sorry. That's what I meant to say. Oh, man. Bavara makes it to the Imperial Age. He hears the monks. He's got some jags in here. The jags should own the karambits, but there should be <laughs> more karambits. They destroy them, bro. Dude, they're like three-shotting these things. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> karambits are oh attacking the monks. There's not many karambits left. And Hart has the question if he wants to continue to make the karambits. But of course the answer is yes. Because his opponent can't make Jags anymore. Mm -hmm. So you got to just keep that up. But yeah, that was that was a complete these, and utter These slaughter. Jags have 16 kills. <laughs> these three Jags. <laughs> they're going to get more. Oh, boy. I think they're two-shotting them, actually. That's crazy. Yeah, Baba is making another castle behind this. He does not want to give this up. The score would be 3-1 then, which would put Hart one win away from qualifying for the main event of Hidden Cup 5. Baba Rum wants this dream run to continue here, man. But I mean, Baba Rum's actually finding good fights. He's taking the trip. What what just happened? He's taking, yeah, he's taking all the, the trips. Out, man. He killed all the karambits. Did, Baba Rum has a chance here. 
Uh, I, I don't know, but the Jags, I mean, the Jaguar Warriors were definitely a great choice yeah, to go yeah, into yeah, yeah, yeah. because they, they definitely carried that entire fight. Now, can you find success with them going forward? I don't know, but he's got six more in the queue. The one thing I'd love to see Hart do right now is to add a gate behind because if the Eagles ever find a chance to come in Agreed. to Zico, yeah. could be a problem, right? You got to lock it down. Yeah, I also think Archer range, right? You're up against Jags, Eagles. At mixing archer range units with the Karambit Warriors. Hart seems to think with elite Karambit, it, like he's used to with this position just winning the game. So that's mm -hmm. why he's forcing the issue here. But there is a slight risk here that if the Jags are good enough against Karambits that maybe Baba Rum the, can hold. The army numbers are now single digits yeah, yeah, for yeah. Baba Rum. That's a pretty brutal situation to be in. Hart has also gone for outposts on the sides. He's not risking anything with these eagle raids. And he's going to drop a castle, which, if it goes up, will pretty much cement his victory. He's so confident that he's going to complete this. He's going to start this with one villager. And I am still oh, trap, uncertain. Trap. I, I, think, trap. I think Hart is throwing. These Delete. jags are destroying. Hard. He deleted it. Oh, he deleted it. Oh, my God. I'm not, I'm not even sure about that castle. He's lost another trap, dude. Hart is, like, trying to run into... A brick wall of Jags here. He needs to make a text And he refuses for sure. to learn that yeah. this is not the fight you want to take with Karambits. I, I mean, mean, the eco is looking good for him. He's got lots of food. He's got lots of wood in the bank. But we need something different than just the Karambits right now because the Jags, the Eagles, all doing fine, especially with the monks adding so much healing behind. Yeah. And the thing is, you don't actually need many Jags, clearly. So... I thought it'd be an issue to only have one castle, but he's got eight of these jags, and these things are just gonna eat. Or or just like run in with the Krambits. Yeah. And and force some of that army back. Wow, he's right? dropping monasteries to go monks. Interesting. I mean, I really I think Hart is maybe scared to go for range units. I think some range mm -hmm. units could have worked as well. But rain like Karambits and monks could also do the job if he can convert the enemy monks and convert the enemy jags. Baba Rum has yeah. a chance here. Dude, if Baba Rum wins this game. That would be insane. A big fight again. There's just so many Karambit Warriors, just as before. How will this fight go for hard, full and look upgrades? And look at him converting all the Jags. If he has monks to convert the Jags and then spams Karambits, <laughs> he can overwhelm. And that's the plan. And the plan is working here, Tristan. What? He's got so many Karambits coming in. He's converting all the Jags. And then they will turn against the infantry from Baba Rum. And, and finally. he takes out all the Trebs. Oh my goodness. Finally. What a push. Yeah, that it worked. Was, that was it. Yeah, converting the Jags, just taking the Jags out of the picture, did it. Hart had a massive lead for a long time there. I was beginning to get a little bit worried. Maybe he did it for the suspense yeah. here, but... No, man, I think I mean, he knew it would work eventually. Yeah. Man, start of that game did not go well for Baba Rum. He took the risk with the lame. Th that whole game was just Hart being aggressive against Baba Rum and Baba mm -hmm. Rum defending. Um... So well played to Bob Rum to take it to Imp. Well played to have a chance, but well played and still losing is not what Bob Rum is looking for here. He cannot lose another game. Otherwise, it is Hart that joins the main event of Hidden Cup 5 in this final qualifier. Um, Hart just seems so consistent in his decisions, right? And the last two games have been well fought from Baba, but Baba's going to have to find another level to beat this guy. Well, it's just Malay on that map. They just feel like that the great choice for him and obviously they both uh or he drafted it really really early yeah he did there and uh malay just give you so much room art went for the men at arms additional men at arms then he went for follow-up towers and he was still up to castle age 30 seconds behind baba rum who forced it with the market here we are game number five let's see if this is the game that sends heart the main event of hidden cup five his identity, of course, will be hidden, so it'll be fun trying to look for this guy. But, man, we've got Vietnamese against Mayans here. This is a rare matchup for Arabia. I feel like it shouldn't be, because both of these civs are pretty solid, but... Yeah. Um, I have not seen this matchup in a very long time here. Mayans have those eagle warriors. They have those cheap archers, which can be great, but that's, that's pretty much it. And for a civ that has cheap archers, it's not so good to see Vietnamese on the other side with the Imperial Age Skirmishers and Rats and Archers, which pretty much neutralized that. So I think you play Cav Archers here if you're Vietnamese, right? Mm, yeah, could. Could do so. I think I've seen this matchup before, and I believe it's Cav Archers. 
But I, I mean, it's all up to player choice, right? And I don't know if Baba Rum is really a cat richer kind of guy, or I don't know if <clears throat> Hart is going to even give him that opportunity. I will say that I don't consider Hart to be the best mezzo player. Like, when I think Hart, I think Scalp. Ooh. What? Sorry. I, there was like a burn or something? Oh, no. <laughs> I wasn't trying to burn him. It was just a statement. <laughs> Just got to bring the excitement, dude. <laughs> Drama. Um, no, I, I, every time I think of Heart, I think Scout, Skirm, Scout Archer, mm -hmm. uh, Crossbow Knight, you know, so, um, but that's, that's not, I haven't seen him play Aztecs, Mayans, or even Incas all that frequently. I think I have some vague memory of him playing Incas on Land Madness at some point, but it's definitely not his normal play, and Baba Ram. As a really nice economic sieve to compete. I'm with you though. I think Cav Archers is the dream, but you just got to make sure you get your walls down to do that. I mean, his golds are in a really rough spot. Look at them. Main gold is there at the front. Yeah. It can kind of wall that off. Secondary gold, maybe, but it's really far away in an open area. And then the other secondary or the third area, tertiary, whatever you want to call it, it's terrible mm -hmm. in the middle of the map. Whereas Hart has his main gold in the back. Hart actually is quite a nice map. Hart has a nice map until he needs stone. Needs stone, yeah. Yeah, and that can be important at some stage. I don't know if the plumed archer is necessarily that important, but uh, getting El Dorado and, and maybe some trebs could be nice here. But again, you can't go scouts. You can't make a stable with the Mayans, so it's usually just when do you build the barracks? Do you make infantry from the barracks before you go into archers, or skirms, and eagles? Um, my thinking is, with the Vietnamese, you know where your opponent's TC is. You know they're limited in what they can make against you. Really strong economy. We're seeing the deer pushed in now. Probably fast feudal scouts for Baba Rum into some level of adaptation. Just remember, as a famous Redditor once said, an iconic Redditor, pros consistently throw due to unnecessary single-minded avoidance of Mayan skirms. <laughs> and... Do you happen to remember the name of this commenter? Is this someone we know, or did that just live in your brain? It lives in my brain and in a command okay. in my chat. <laughs> it is. It is. It was a classic Reddit post. Yeah. Okay. It is. It is interesting. I mean, I will agree with with that commenter that it is oftentimes overlooked how good my skirmishers are. But I think if your issue in a competitive game in 2024 mm -hmm. is, oh no. You didn't research that skirmisher technology. <laughs> um, other things have gone wrong. <laughs> uh, that's that's kind of what I have to say on that. So you're agreeing that they consistently throw during due to single-minded avoidance? No, 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 no. Okay. There's there's okay. a million other reasons why. There's a million other reasons why they might not okay. get the tech. So, but dude, right, well, do you remember? Um, Last Hidden Cup, I know it's been a while, but I think you'll remember this. It was the Vikings-Mayans War, where it was pretty much just like skirms until there was no wood. I said it would be a wood game. You, you said it? Do you remember? It? I did yep. like 30 minutes into the game. <laughs> and then two hours later, <laughs> there's no freaking wood. Dude, that was insane. It was like, I think that's the most amount of skirms I've ever seen in a game. And it was to start the semifinal of Hidden Cup 4. That was That was before we realized how good uh, Holche was. Yeah. Because that was still relatively new, right? Yeah. Yeah, there was no single-minded avoidance there from... Uh, I mm. believe it was... Um, it was Yo. Yeah, it was Jordan Yo. It was Sanjata against Admiral in the semifinal. Ooh, Baba Rum. Again, two militia. All right, here we go. Two militia That's, on gold. He so, did that on cross. He did that on quarry. I, what was our other map? Um, cross quarry slopes. Slopes. He did it on slopes too. Yeah. And heart scouts <laughs> it again. Heart scouts every it again. Every single time. Get the, gets the timing done every single time. I mean, at this point, it's not luck from heart. This, this time, he went full circle around the base, saw mm -hmm. the barracks, and Baba Rum does not know that Hart has Militia coming forward, to my knowledge, because he hasn't walled and anything, at, and it's going to be three Militia. Look at the militia. difference. Like, look at the difference. Hart space, walled. Yes, small Baba Rum space, open. Well, one because player Hart knows. realizes he's, he's at risk. I know, but you should still be looking for that with your scouting, right? You, yeah. you pointed that out. It's just much better for Hart, so he's mentally prepared. Even if he has a 10-second warning, it's enough for him. 
And now he'll rotate around to the berries, but the stress levels here for Babaram much higher than those of Hart. Hart doesn't even need to really look back at his eco. He knows it's safe. Yeah, it's Hart's fine. so comfortable in these type of games. Arabia is Hart's best map, I would say. And Babaram, I think his, his ladder ranking is decent. It's like 2,500 ELO, right? And that's majority that's going to be Arabia games for these guys. The heart's like, uh oh, heart is so much higher than that. And heart's, Woodline. I think, number Woodline. one on the ladder right now. And oh my god, that was way too close. <laughs> that was way too close. That was half a second away from being in, and then two dead bills. So, this pressure means that the first or, or even second archer has to come over here to deal with this. Babaram will do that. It's the same deal for Hart, but obviously he doesn't have as much he needs to address. I should point out that Baba Rum has both eco upgrades. So his farms will last a while. Mm -hmm. And he also has the wood upgrade. But I don't know how important Horse Collar is when you don't really have the wood to seed many farms at the moment. Yeah, and the wood line's open again. Men at Arms are here. Eagle is still there to block. And the villager goes down to a long range sword slash from the Men at Arms there as they loop around to the gold. Archers are chasing after, but there's still potential here for Hart to get some value with these things. Meanwhile, at home, he's perfectly fine. He's and, very comfortable. And remember, Mayans already start with that extra villager. The resources do last longer. See, look at the farm eco for Hart right now. This is what I talked about earlier. I think Hart is top two in Arabia into like, you know, militia and the range transition or scout and the range transition and the farm eco. His farms are perfectly That's... placed and it's just sick how many he has already. That's a very niche category. It, it is. To have a top list. <laughs> <laughs> it is. But it's like, you know, uh, Hart is, there's a lot of competition, you know? I, I genuinely mm -hmm. think he and Hera are at the top there. And, you know, maybe in, after Hidden Cup 5 main event, if Hart makes it, he will be in other categories as well. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me give you my top five. <laughs> Okay, of islands, right? Right. I think I think there's a player that we both know that's number four of islands, taking shortfish mid castle age. Okay, is is there... I'm gonna leave you with that one. You can guess them later. But I thought um, there was gonna very be a similar joke made there. Category. Nope. Nope. <laughs> well, Hart is smothering Baba Rum right now, and he's got fletching. He's on top of the gold. These man at arms have done so much for him, and Baba's gonna drop a stable here. But this is just. There's just a class difference between the two on this map. And there has been a class difference today. And that's not taking anything away from Baba's performances. But this eco for Hart, as he actually made a horrible farm. I take it back. That farm next to the lumber camp, I wouldn't even place. That is a rough one. But beyond that, piling on the aggression here, Dave. Baba Rum needs a really big fight here. Yeah, and he's going to push him with the archers. But Hart immediately takes one. Babaram does have scouts coming behind from that stable. Yep. And but it's only one right now. That might even still be a starting scout. I don't know. He hasn't had the food to produce, I mm -hmm. suppose. Yep. And there's still men at arms here. And there's yep. still a spearman here. So even if you go for those scouts, you're not going to get the full clear on the skirmishers. And Hart sees that. He's even going for armor yep. for the eagles that are coming out. So now they can perform pretty well against the archers, still hanging on to that main gold position and looks extremely comfortable behind. We'll go for Wheelbarrow just because he's housed. Because he's producing The level's so just insane. The patience is so yeah. good. He's like, I am not. I don't even need to kill anything. You have to come deal with me. I'm going to have consistent production from every building back at home. And it's nonstop micro and macro. And again, that's what Hart is so good at. His eco yeah. is going to take him to Castle Age at a good time. And you would need... Jeez, man, I don't even know if you could take this fight if you had five scouts right now. If you're you need around. five scouts with bloodlines <laughs> yeah. to take that fight, maybe. I actually like the idea of what Bubba Rum is doing, but it's very similar energy to game number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's where too he's late. Like, I, I can't do anything here. I need to counterattack. And now he's sending the archers back for this army. Oh, no. What are they going to do over here? Well, he just realized nothing. So now he's leaving. But you notice how the second that army starts to go forward, Hart says, okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Like, go ahead. I'm just going to kill you then. It's really good recognition of the situation from him. Oh, and he comes back again, too. At least it's kind of keeping him safe because Hart's army has to keep coming back and forth. Yeah, true. But those, those archers, 
There's not going to be many of them left. And, oh man, Heart just chasing him down. And he's going to whittle down more archers if this continues. The scouts will, will not do too much here. Heart will not take any losses. And Heart has oh, collected a thousand more resources. He's got seven more army. He's dominating right now. Right, he's just hunting him down. Doesn't care about those weak scouts. Has the full walls up now, so probably doesn't even care about the archer army anymore. Yep. Yep. Babaram can only pull that trick once. He's out of position slightly with his infantry as the scouts come in, but they're waiting right behind. And once Hart gets this market up, he's going to be on the way to the castle age, still with a very comfortable position over this main gold from Baba Rum. Hart on Arabia is a cheat code. He just is. Like, he plays like it's all visible, and there's very few players that can handle him on Arabia. This oh, is not Kelsey. the map that Baba Rum would have wanted here, but you, he has to win every single map to have a chance to make it into the main event. And yeah, three villagers now down. Hart continues Look at to the hunt. KD. Yeah, it's, it's just brutal. Like dude. the men, the men at arms, all three men at arms are still alive. Yeah, he's a beast. It's insane. And this is the type of thing you need to look for in the main event, people, in two weeks. Because yep. if you see a player, if you see a hero playing Arabia like this, now granted the competition will be higher, but still, it could be Hart. And Hart has put in a lot of work over the last two years. And he made it to NAC recently and would have wanted to do better at that LAN event, I'm sure. And uh, this is a good opportunity for, for the narrative around him to just grow and grow with how good he is. And he's on the way to Castle Agent. Yeah, I mean, sad for Bobby. He doesn't want to call it. He doesn't want to be out. He doesn't want to, his dream to die, dude. But I don't I don't know what he does right now. He's even going to kill the blacksmith, too. Yep. Hart pulled the villa off the farm. Oh, no, he's back. He just had to build a barracks. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that far. <laughs> Poor Hart. He, these games were played simultaneously to the previous series, so it is very likely Hart is lurking right now, watching as everyone's going to just congratulate him and be so excited for him. And he wants us to all be talking positives. But is we saw the farm. Oh, scouts just run extremely casually right through that hole. Yikes. They have forging. And it's, it's about to be Castle Age Eagles. So they'll get seven base attack. And, oh, wait. Were you talking about the scouts or the eagles? The scouts. Oh, I was talking they about the eagles. two bills. Okay, sorry. I'm looking at the scouts. Dude. I don't want to look at this part. Of, I've been looking at that part of the map all game. All right? I want to look somewhere different. True. And this time it's in Hart's economy. And this is not what Hart wanted. He thought he was safe. Well, sad thing is, he will be safe. <laughs> He's in Castle Age. He has the eagles. And Baba Rum mm. calls it. And Hart joins the other 15 players. We have nice. our main event lineup. He will be in Hidden Cup 5. What a run from him. We looked at the bracket a couple weeks back, and we felt like Hart might not be able to get through Tato, but would probably fall into the second chance qualifier and be one of the favorites there. And yeah, he was, he was just a different class today. Moves on. And honestly, Dave, I feel very happy overall. I feel like we've got the best players in the main event, but also... Players like Baba Ram got to show themselves and got to got to remind the community that there's a lot of talented individuals out there. Gets himself 700 bucks for his performance yep. here in the quality and a lot of new fans. And Baba Ram is playing at a really uh, impressive level right now. Yep. Now, if you guys weren't familiar with him before, you are now. Keep an eye out on the next closed map or arena tournaments because that's where he really shines. Yeah. That's where he's really, really good. So um, credit to him, but man, Hart making it to another main event. It, this guy is incredible. Even after taking that bad loss against Tato uh, with, with the lopsided score in that set, mm -hmm. he proves that it wasn't a fluke that he got here. He's through. He's going to be one of our heroes. Great job. Yeah, amazing Great job. job. From him. Amazing job. Really, really happy for him. I know he's put a lot of work into it. And uh, you want to see the players who put all the work and, and energy and effort in uh, find reward, and he certainly has. He was, like many of the players who qualified, uh, used to be a player who was mainly good on Arabia. Now everyone's getting so good, they take the tournament prep seriously, and the level has really risen there. So we started with the seven invites from the previous Hidden Cup, which uh, I, I've got a list up over here, Dave. ACCM, Doubt. Hera, Jordan, Leary, Yo, and Viper. And then the rest of the lineup was filled in with the qualifier 
And again, I feel like we've got the best players. We have Vinchester, Sato, MBL, Tato, Barles, Sebastian, Ganji, Mihai, and Hart. And included in that is five players who've never played in a Hidden Cup before, which is a really big deal. Five players. Five. That's crazy, man. So Ganji, Sebastian, Sato, Sato Mihai. Mihai, and Hart. Yep. Yep. And then obviously some of the others who qualified were there before. Um, it was a long qualifier. I, I do want to say more generally to the people who participated in this, it was very clear, even if you didn't make it to the main event, how serious people took this. Um, and that meant a lot uh, to see the first round people who were heavy underdogs really participating and really grinding was exciting. So well played to everyone who played in the quality, but main events two weeks away now, and that'll be a whole different ball game. <laughs>